Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Well, it's Friday for me now. If you're watching the YouTube VOD of this stream, it's most likely not Friday. Well, this is a good jam, though, to get it started with. I like this one. Okay. I'm not complaining. No complaints here. All right, chat. Where are you? I've missed you. It's been too long. It's been too long since we've done one of these challenges. What's what game is this one from? I always ask that question. Maybe that's just me making conversation with myself. But we're starting a new one. We're going to Windhelm. We are going to Windhelm. Thank you. Happy kind Friday, sir. everybody. Owl, thank you so much for the tier one. How was everyone? We're going to Windhelm, and I thought of a pretty funny end goal. I, you know, I wasn't going to start Windhelm until we did another couple of recordings that I want to do for another video idea that I have. But then I thought about it, and I thought, you know, I should probably get started on Windhelm because it's going to take a few streams. And an idea popped in my head. What do you guys think about Windhelm with our final goal of... How do I... Uh, Project, I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing well. Uh, one sec. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Pool, thank you so much for two gifted tier one subs. Thank you. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. So I was thinking for Windhelm, a funny and a fun final goal would be and I'll have to do some more research into reverse pickpocketing in Skyrim. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Reverse pickpocketing. Reverse pickpocket. So what I want to do is reverse pickpocket all the Dark sir. Elves and Windhelm. And I want to start a Dark Elf Uprising in Windhelm. So I want to reverse pickpocket all the Dark Elves, frenzy them, and then let them take everything out. Uh, Reaper, that's the next video I'm working on. I've already started on it. Glowing Sea Part 3. I don't want to take their stuff. I want to give them gear. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me. I'll be back in one sec. I need to go turn my air conditioning up because I have a hoodie on. And it is much warmer than I thought it would be. So give me two seconds. I'll play you a random song, and then I'll be back, and then we'll get started. Yeah, so we're going to start a war in Windhelm. That's our final goal. No, cheese fan, not a racist playthrough, you dipshit. Hello, hello. Uh, will they, will they equip? Yeah, we'll have to figure out if they equip the stuff. Oh God, I'm in such bad shape. I'm like gassed from coming down the stairs. Yes, the downtrodden. Will rise and take over Windhelm. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Either way, might as well get into it. How was everybody doing? Happy Friday. Sorry it's been a while since I've been here. Very much, very much apologize. Work, work, been busy. Uh, it took me a long time. Sorry, it took me forever to upload. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I say that like every single time I upload. Sorry, it took so long. Yeah, now the two, the two dickheads at the front gate. 
Uh, one sec. Why is my game not in full screen? That's weird. Hold on. Let me clear some stuff off my uh, monitor real quick. God damn, it is way too hot in my basement right now. Sten, uh, Stenark, thank you so much for the tier one. I just saw that you resubbed. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. How do I feel about Starfield? I am fucking jacked. I can't wait to make videos for Starfield. I'm really, really excited. Um, okay, give me two seconds. I have to get my OBS up so we can actually record. There's that. Oh, gosh. I hate when I go like a week without streaming because I just forget where things are supposed to be. It throws me off so much. It genuinely throws me off. Well, so under the hoodie, I just have like a plain old t-shirt on. Well, then we'll, if we can't equip armor to them, we'll frenzy them and we'll heal on target. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with our own rules. Commercial, I record on OBS and I stream on Streamlabs. That's how I do it. I do need a leather jacket. How was the wedding? Uh, good. I, actually, I went to two weddings the last couple weeks, and they were both great. Both had a fun time. I need to do more of these region locks. I got to start clearing off. I, I have a uh, I have a schedule of you know kind of the places that I want to cover. We are we're doing New Vegas soon. By the way, New Vegas is coming up. No tricky. I don't use a capture card. Did I catch the bouquet? I did not. Sadly, I'm heartbroken. Does going to the docks count as leaving Windhelm? No. How do I explain I do YouTube and streaming when people ask? That is kind of funny because um, I, always, I always explain it to people in the funniest way possible. I always say, uh, sometimes I'll say I put videos of myself on the internet and just let them try and figure out what that means. Or I'll say I film myself playing video games. <laughs> and usually people usually people think it's pretty cool w i missed you more i missed you chat i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all having a absolutely fantastic day smug first time here thank you thank you for coming by we're happy to have you yeah i film myself in my basement i work in live entertainment Appreciate it, Martino. No, guys, I'm in my fall off stage. I see the analytics. I, I'm in. I'm in my fall off stage. Time to re time to resort to what works. What works best, so I can try and get out of my fallout stage. Fall off, not fall out. <laughs> I guess that works too. I have had more fallout stuff than recent, or recently than usual. One sec. I need to actually before I get started. I've been meaning to do this for a while and it drives me nuts that I haven't done it. I need to turn down I need to turn down that alert. It's super super loud and it always really throws me off and on recordings it's really loud. So give me one sec. But uh thank you kind sir. Thank you so much Campa. Thank you for gifting a tier one to Frenchie. Congratulations, Frenchie and Gothica. Thank you so much for the tier one. For the prime. Not just a tier one. That's a prime. Give me one second here. Sorry, I know I'm delaying everything. I'm an idiot. Idiot. The cloud bot? Alert box? Is that where I changed the setting? Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, kind sir. No. See, there's no option to change the volume of a gift sub. It drives me crazy. How does that, how does it, how do, how do, how do, how do, how do, huh? Because that one is not too loud, but when people gift, it's really, really loud. I appreciate it either way, but it, uh, it just throws me off. All right, whatever. I guess we'll focus on it next time. 
You like all the cheese except for the weird cheese? What kind of weird cheese is there? Blue cheese is weird. Never been a fan of it. It's like the one cheese that kind of grosses me out. Or any kind of cheese that has fruit in it. No, that's weird. The che yeah, the cheese with the maggots. Yeah, that is gross. I have seen that maggot cheese. I can't believe that's a thing. I just, oh, that is, that's a bit much. See, uh, uh, knocked him. I, I can't get behind that kind of, uh, I can't get behind that kind of stuff. Blueberries and figs and whatnot with cheese. Hulk Hogan is a Nord. I guess Hulk Hogan does have, he does kind of remind me of a Nord. He seems like it. All right, everyone, buckle up for the wildest carriage ride of your lives. Who's ready? Thank you, kind sir. Yummy, thank you so much. Four months. It does seem like, it seems like just yesterday I made that video. Yeah, it's Jorbin time. Ha, oh, it never gets old. This intro will always, always. Greatest intro in the history of gaming. Right here. It's, it's actually not even close. It's inarguable. It's as close to a fact as you can get. <gasps> anonymous. An anonymous gifter. Ooh. We have a secret admirer, chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for the five. Five tier ones. Thank you. Hey, you. They're finally Ray awake. Lake. Thank you, Rayloff. Right? Jaws here. Thank you for the prime. That imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Oh my gosh. Damn you, storm cloaks. Pawn pits. Empire was nice and lazy. Ten. Thank you so much. You. I don't know what else to say. I'm really bad at thanking people, but I appreciate it. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's kind of ridiculous how many times I've done the opening. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous how many times we've gone through. Coopins, thank you for the prime. And Pumpets, thank you again. Thank you so much. You guys, uh, I have to say, first off, bottom of my heart. I got. Let me be real here for a second. Thank you guys, everybody who was there for the charity stream and who donated. Uh, I don't know if you did see it or if you've caught any of the updates. I've mentioned it a few times on stream. Um, but, you know, the way it worked and kind of the way we had it set up, it was it was around like 1200 or 1300 that we had in total because the app that we used crowd control they took a percentage and of course twitch takes a percentage of subs and whatnot so i just kind of did the math and figured i'll you know chip in a couple hundred and push us up to 1500 so so we donated 1500 and overall I know there was probably more in total, but Wes Johnson's campaign itself was around 32,000 uh, by the end of it all. So thank you guys. It was it was really, really cool. Really special Love to do that. Video today. Also Peggle in. I'm not so sure about Peggle. I can't, I, I don't know if I can do Peggle for a while. I don't know, I, don't, I haven't had the blessing. If Doug ever gives me permission to play Peggle, then I'll play Peggle. Grim dog, thank you for the tier one. This isn't happening. Hey, what village? I probably could have gone on that little thank you rant. Why do you care? While uh, Nord's last thoughts. While this was going, just to kind of hurry it up, but oh well. I'm, I'm from Rorkstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Candy Crush. Candy Crush is basically Peggle, right? Basically, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> You're not wrong. He probably would be pumped. Knowing him, he'd be he'd be pretty pumped. The, the more people that play Peggle, the better. He wants a Peggle takeover. I had to leave Floppy Penis in the video today because I mentioned before the long stretch at the end where we started to really knock off our objectives. I mentioned. How and and that was I was being serious. I mentioned how I I genuinely did kind of forget at certain points in that stream that it was all just for charity and we were really doing a great job and 
blowing away all my expectations because I was focused on just the challenge of it and I started to get really frustrated at times. If stream is delayed, Frenchie, I would just refresh. Yeah, his brother, uh, Doug's brother did Stanley Parable. It's a fantastic writer. Gigri. Gigri? 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 Thank you so much. Let's go. Thank you guys. You guys have been so generous today. We're not even through the intro. <laughs> I want to watch the soldiers. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. We worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Flop it, floppy penis, it. it was a quote. It, it was a quote from the charity stream. I, I got angry at someone in chat. Honpits, thank you again. Uh, Rums, thank you for the tier one. Oh my gosh. Of Riverwood. An anonymous gifter. Thank you. You guys are going nuts today. Seriously, really appreciate it. You're not gonna kill me. Sunflower, thank you so much for watching. Oh, Lokir. Haha, -ha, he didn't make it out this time. Wait. You there. F's in the chat for Lokir. For every F, we get one Lokir prayer. Who are you? Um, I I I, mi I missed your name, but uh, someone who was new in chat mentioned that them and their son watch my videos thank you that means so much those are the compliments that honestly i get really really excited about when i'm like oh my gosh for me and my family when i was growing up our show was american idol i have surpassed american idol in the hearts of american families well if you are american that is but thank you and tell your kid i said hi they sound like an all right lot all right so who should we go with we're definitely going dark elf for sure, we're going Dark Elf, but we have to start with the decent preset. Oh, I should have the mod where I can go with the uh, Giga Chad, but I don't have that installed right now. I want the closest. Uh, actually, I like this preset. This looks like a Morrowind Dunmer. A little bit. I'm going to go with this look. I like it. All right. Got to make make sure he looks cool. Scars look cool. I kind of want a unique looking character. A lot of my videos, the character that I narrate videos with is fairly basic. It's usually just a plain Nord. So I want to make this one look really, really cool here. Got to give him yeah, some face paint because we're going to lead the uprising in Windhelm. I'm like a badass. <laughs> I don't even know if this. We just we just handed our tattoo artist the the pen and said go nuts. Dealer's choice. I don't really care. I just I just want to look cool. Make me look intimidating. Red, so it looks like blood. Although it kind of covers up our scars. We need the scar to be a bit more pronounced. Mm. Actually, most of the scars are a little. They're pretty underwhelming. There we go. That one's pretty visible because there's no paint on the lips. Yeah, we'll go with that scar. Got a nice little scratch. Got into a bar fight or two. I never, I never delve into the features. I, I like the face. The face is good so far. It reminds me, it reminds me of. Uh, I'm actually playing a Dark Elf. Uh, I just started playing Morrowind again the other night. And this reminds me of the character that I have. And face shape. I usually just pick a preset and go. So now we'll give him a haircut. And we need... Ooh. I want, I want a ponytail. I want, I want like a... I want a top knot. Or, ooh, there we go. Nice. That's the look. Ah, it, that that hair, that forehead, though. That's a lot of runway. You could land a plane on that thing. Look at that. 
Oh, dude, come on. Is that the only the only ponytail in the game is a nine head? I can't show up to town like that. They're going to make fun of me. This one's not as bad, but look at that widow's peak. I'm already losing all my hair. All right, whatever. It works. We'll go with it. Are there any redhead? I'm going to go redhead. This is a badass look. I love this character. <laughs> I'm down. Okay. All right, name suggestions, chat. What do you have for me? Extra Shady Sam. <laughs> we haven't had Shady Sam in a while. And if I recall correctly, I think Shady Sam, when we did the first episode, first episode Shady Sam was a Nord, second episode it was a Dark Elf. We're bringing Shady Sam back. We're just going Shady Sam. I know Shady Sam is a Breton, I think, in Oblivion, but I don't care. Another refugee? Gods really have Are there any mods in chat? People, Dark Elf. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Hold on one sec. I have to I have to put auto mod in place. Auto mod is Oh, all right, all right. We baguettes and baguettes here. Pool, I'm modding you. Forget the list. He goes to the block. I'm making a judgment call here. Don't make me regret it. <laughs> we'll make sure your names are returned tomorrow. Then. Follow the captain, prisoner. Have I watched any series lately? Uh, I just watched the series finale or season finale of The Boys last night. I don't want to say anything though, because spoilers. Been a big fan of that show. Really enjoyed. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I also kind of went on a binge. I've been watching a lot of TV lately. Kind of went on a binge of, uh, what's it called? Um, Umbrella Academy. It's nothing. Carry on. I watch that. I enjoy it, but I don't think I like it as much as a lot of the hardcore fans of that show enjoy it. Sorry, Ethereus commendation. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on, I haven't got all morning. I've used the Inigo mod before. I don't like I don't like a lot of the custom followers. That's just personal preference. Opinions on Breaking Bad? Uh, Breaking Bad is, in my mind, undisputed, the greatest show ever conceived. Ever, literally everything about it is perfect. And I'm very, very sad that in about seven weeks' time, the Breaking Bad cinematic universe will be all but over, and I will have no more content to consume, because in about 14 years they have almost never missed. Did you hear that? I'll be very sad. Better Call Saul is also fantastic. Next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Am I excited for Starfield? Yes, I am. I'm very excited. I'm really, really excited to do some videos for it. I did watch Stranger Things as well. I really enjoyed the fourth season. I've watched a lot of shows lately. It's it's definitely it's definitely slowed down how often I can make videos. Breaking Bad Rule 34. You have to watch Breaking Bad to understand Better Call Saul. So, my uncle wa is watching Better Call Saul and he loves it and he's never seen Breaking Bad. He's going to watch Breaking Bad after he finishes Better Call Saul, which will be done in, I think, seven weeks. All right, let's get out of here. For sorry, I feel like this part of the intro is moving slower for me lately. 
Like, I, I swear, I always get to that wall right when Alduin is busting through. Man, it feels so long since we've done a genuine Skyrim rage. Oh my gosh, it has been a while. We haven't done a genuine one since Riften. I've been doing too many spin-offs. It feels good to be back. All right, Rayloff. Let's get this show on the road. Solemn guard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Fantastic. That thing was a dragon. No doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can... Could save them and summon them as my own... Pro it's not a bad idea. There you go. May as well take Gunyar's gear. I have no plans on taking Gunyar's gear. All right, Rayloff, by now you should know the program. Here we go. Wow, I can't wait to meet all sorts of new kind people in Windhelm. I'm sure everyone here is going to be just as nice as the people in the intro. You pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. Okay, I've heard just about enough out of this prick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, someone's being attacked. Come on. No, you should have, why aren't you helping me fight this guy? I mean, he so clearly deserves to be punched in the face. Come here. Come here, Rolf. <laughs> Are the guards not going to stop me? <laughs> Who's shooting? Oh, oh, God, that is a guard. Okay, all right, all right, I surrender. What say you in your defense? I don't want to die. Fine, I'll go to jail. I guess you're smarter than you look. I can't really afford to not go to jail. You know, I've never actually been into the Windhelm jail, and I gotta say, aesthetically, this is by far the scariest jail in all of Skyrim. They've got a torture device in the corner. Loose buckets. Oh god, they have loose buckets. Leaky ceiling. This is not good. Another torture device? There's only one guard, though. Also one of the harder to escape jails. How do you get around that guard right there? Can I just train sneak? <laughs> can, can I just train sneak on this guard without leaving jail? And look at this. I'm, I'm in a box. No space. No room. This is abysmal. I want to try and level up sneak one time. can't see me he's confused why there's no longer a prisoner in here <laughs> he's lost track of me it's all in the top knot I wonder if you can actually gain XP though in jail should be easy to find out very slowly I found it much easier to gain sneaking XP if you shoot arrows to distract people actually get sneak attacks and whatnot. Yeah, it's not a torture device. It's actually, uh, Ulfric is really into BDSM. So he's got this set up. Cherk me, thank you so much. Five tier ones, thank you. All right, get me out of jail. This is crap. <laughs> Joke's on them. As usual in these videos, I have my first set of clothes, no longer naked. So we've increased our net worth by uh, one, two, two gold, and we got a free lockpick. How do you get a free lockpick just for going to jail? Do they give it to every prisoner and just dare them? Hey, break out if you want to try it. 
All right, so is everybody going to be really rude to me? After what happened to those other women? Oh, Giordano, you're the pizza lady. Or your name sounds like a pizza. Hello, guard? Oh, they, they all kind of just sound similar to everybody else. You one of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Yes, outsiders like me have no place here. <laughs> just, I, I'll just accept it. That's just what Ulfric wants you to think. If that's what you really believe, then you're a fool. Never had much patience for fools myself. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Can we redo that conversation? What do you want, milk drinker? Now you insult me. You were just trying to lift me up, and now you get in my face and insult me. Why doesn't he care about outsiders? Whenever a group of marauders attack a Nord village, Ulfric is the first to sound the horn and send the men. But a group of dark elf refugees gets ambushed. A group of Argonians or a Khajiit caravan. No troops. No investigation. Nothing. There's a group of cutthroats out there right now that Ulfric doesn't lift a finger to bring to justice. As long as they don't threaten Nord land. I ain't asking for much. Just a few seconds. Uh, what if I told you I would take care of it, but then I didn't because it's not within the bounds of my rule set? That's a brave offer. I'd be happy to throw in my coin behind that. Even though I can't you complete it, them. most likely? I'll make sure you get paid. Maybe this old soldier will throw in some lessons as well. Show those Kill the leader. Okay, Lost Knife Hideout. Where is it at? Whoa, 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 way too far. That's out of bounds, Brunwolf. Brunwolf. I, I, I think your intentions are very nice, but you got to understand what I'm working with here. All right, so far so good. Let's just keep meeting the people. Let's find out, is it really as bad here as people say? More, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? If you're looking to get a drink, Candlehearth Hall's got warm... Okay, a High Elf. High Elves have to be treated just as poorly, supposedly, as, as Dark Elves, right? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are. Ma'am, so I, I am... I, I am a Dark Elf. Long. Say that to my face. Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. All right, so I've already been insulted. I lost next time. a twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Sorry, Torbjorn. You must be suffering. Today. No. Make it quick. I haven't lost anything. Well, I did watch one of my friends that I rode here in a carriage with get his head cut off. If that counts as loss. And we won't forget the townsfolk call me Captain. I'm sorry, I used to be sailor for a moment there. I don't care. I. Time to get over the loss. That was weird. Why are the NPCs so strange? They always have to regale so much detail about themselves for no reason. The townsfolk call me Captain. Do we have a goal, Max? Our goal is to eventually uh, do what we normally do break the game in whatever way we find but the first stream whenever we come to one of these cities is always kind of investigation talk to the people find out a strategy i've spent less time in windhelm by far than most cities Just a few and i could i could cheese alchemy because that's usually the easiest way to go about it but i don't really want to do that kind of makes it a little too easy I really have, I've barely spent any time in this city. It's like, it's like I'm exploring brand new content. It's like a DLC. I never come to Windhelm. Hey, hey, how you doing, friend? Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can, but I still have to listen to my brothers harping about injustices. Okay, well. You will not survive the uprising, my friend. You should unload some of that oh, unwanted yeah. gear. With your Head help, over to Saudri's used we have a to... You're right. I'm carrying so much wealth right now, I probably should unload some of it. I have too many rags. Thank you. I 
thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Become a blacksmith. Could become a blacksmith. That does sound kind of fun. Ever think of moving to Morrowind? What's the yeah, what is the Grey Quarter? Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent Skyrim, of his hospitality. Skyrim, but I'm a weapons dealer. Ever think of moving to Morrowind? Not a day goes... Still, it's probably more trouble... Well, little does he know that I have the DLC day. installed, and he can just take a boat Fine. right outside. Got something for just about everybody in here. Oh, nice. Okay, we do. We have a Dark Elf store, so... Maybe I should become a blacksmith. Maybe I should. You know, I've always started these videos trying to do honest work before I eventually just completely lose my shit. So... Maybe we do that. Have a look thank around. you, kind sir. I buy and sell just JP, thank you so much for the prime. All my goods are legitimate, which is take a look. Asking him what I <laughs> asking him what he's got for sale, completely forgetting the fact that I'm broke. That's not gonna work. Does he have any smithing materials? I don't really want to steal from him. I'll feel bad, but I'm going to. If he has anything I can use for smithing, doesn't look like he has much. I like to share my good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to find some smithing materials. Oh, strong box. Thanks for keeping me entertained this last week. I thought the great. Well, Nil, thank you. Thank no, 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 no. Don't thank me. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Those who watch keep the channel afloat. And I hope, uh, I hope we're in a really good cadence here. Should be able to be. Let's hope. Oh, wood chopping. Can't wait to not be able to sell it to anybody. I didn't touch it. Hammers don't have legs. There we go. Okay, we can steal those ingots and get to work. Oh, yes. There's like nothing else here though. Come and browse my fine selection. A colored smith to be PC. Shut up. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few Oh my god, how, am I already stuck? <laughs> Did I lose? Oh, blacksmith quarters. Okay. Why is it locked? I could. I wonder if I can break in here. I'll get a wanted level, but if I can go from. If I can go from here, yeah. So we got a bounty. That's no problem. If I can go from here. By order of the yard, stop right there. God damn it! That was quick. <sighs> Fine, I'll go to jail. I guess you're smarter than you look. That is bullshit. How did he get there so quickly? All right, we've only been to jail twice. How many days have passed? How long was I even in jail for? Days passed, two. Okay, <laughs> I've been, been here two days. I had to go to just, you know, it's free lodging. And maybe I got, I did, I got an extra pair of boots and rags. Or, yeah, robes and boots. Same thing. My robes are rags. I just have to get the right angle and get in here. Look away. Look away. Turn. Stop looking at me. There's nothing interesting about me. They, they're having the same argument that they had the other day. Okay, what do you want? Do you have a quest? Everyone says your virus. If that makes any sense. Of course, uh, don't let my words cut you too deep. I've just been working the floor. 
Yarl wants it to look like an ancient. Oh, here we go. Okay, maybe we can do a quest for this guy. Ruled over Windhelm in the second era, and her sword was legendary. Getting the real sword would be even better than making a copy. If you find that sword, traveler, I'd be grateful. Where's the sword? Nope. Sorry, <laughs> I can't find it. Potion of invisibility would help. Oh, they're both turned around right now, though. Oh, I was just hidden there for a second. Got it. I can generate unlimited lockpicks too by going to jail. So long as I go to jail on a really petty crime, I can I can just stock up on lockpicks. Actually, wait. Wait, yeah, hold on. Why do I have two lockpicks? Even if you have 50 lockpicks, don't you still go to jail with only one? No, see, I don't want to wait until nighttime. That's where they will. That's, that's how they get you. You gotta have more than just leather strips and potatoes. Hello? Anyone home? Ooh. Is there a way we can launder these stolen goods? I'm not so sure. If any of them are enchanted, we can disenchant them. No skill books. Nothing, nothing. Bucket. No, I require a basket, not a bucket. Five gold. All right, we're in the wealth column. Fisher hat, mining clothes. How? It's the blacksmith's barracks. How is there... Come on, there's got to be something here. More gold. I mean, stolen gold I can use to flip into items, so I can launder, I can at least launder my stolen gold, but not for a lot. Sweet. Came out of there with a whole 10 gold. This blacksmith sucks. All right, we're going to stake out this place until nighttime and steal his ingots. Da -na -na. Go, go home. What are you doing here? Are you working so late? All right. Coast is clear. Operation Ingot is underway. Dun, 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 dun. Only one guard in the way. There we go. Nice and easy. That was simple. Now, iron daggers are the best way to get XP, right? I think. Although it would be kind of cool to make some... Like, just make a giant sword. But we'll start by making two daggers. I'll make a sword. Sword's worth more. Fantastic. Now at least all the stuff that I stole is legal. Fantastic. Is I oh, is there a place to go fishing here? There might be a place on the docks. That's a good idea. You know what? Let's check out the docks. Docks are fair play. I don't care what anyone says. Docks were fair play in Riften and it made it a little bit more fun. So docks can be fair play here. So let's check out the general store in the morning. Because fishing actually might be a decent way to make, get some uh, get some starter cash. I've never spent much time. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, I like to share my... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Yep, fishing rod. Don't have enough gold. Oh, it's cost 31? <laughs> I still don't have enough. I need 10 more gold. Come on, don't do me like that. Why does everything have to be so expensive here? Do come again. All right, I need a more clever way to make some cash. I mean, stealing loose gold always works. Oh, he has a... Okay, if he has a quest, let's check it out. Maybe we'll get a discount. I'm, I'm gonna give you a different song. 
Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what your trader dropped by. Re of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been... Oh, the pizza the lady! Just like it. I'll return it for you. <laughs> Tough luck. Just walk out. It's not Refuse to elaborate. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. Hey, Cheese Fact 28. A giant wheel of cheddar cheese was given to Queen Victoria, 1837 Don't to 1901, for a wedding gift. It weighed over 1,000 pounds. A normal cheddar wheel weighs 60 to 70. 1,000? A thousand pounds of cheese. That'd be really, really funny if she was lactose intolerant. <laughs> Alright, let's steal this ring. Or not so much steal the ring. Plant violas. Wait, what is it? Plant violas golden ring in. Oh, in her house. Name's new. Is Nils the guy I was punching in the face earlier? Hold on, this is some good sleuthing music. Alright. House a la Giordano. Expert lock? Alright, well, we'll do this in the middle of the day, because then no one will suspect it. Two lock picks, expert lock. I can do this. Are you ever going to do round two of your FNB random doors to random locations videos? Most likely not. Fuck! Whew. Where did I miss it? Was it over here? Oh. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you, kind sir. Maybe in the future if I had time for it. Watching while asleep. Uh, I think we've been live for close to an hour. I'm only the best Oblivion lock picker, and, and that's actually something I would challenge anybody to beat me in. We're in. Okay, maybe she's got some loose gold around her house. Place the ring in the drawer. It's like one of five things that I have. It's not hard to find. Knapsack. Potion of healing could have some value. Pickaxe. I don't think we can go mining anywhere in town. If we could, I would take it. Alcohol, nothing in here I can craft with. <gasps> basket! That could come in handy. We may need to use the basket if there's any, uh, any sort of, uh, wall glitching we have to do. There we go, we got some gold. Plenty of cheese. You know what I could do? Is I could take the salt piles and, you know, something like horker meat. Pheasant breast. Right? I could take all of this stuff and the salt piles. No one's home, so I guess I'm, I'm free to cook. I'm just going to start cooking in her house. I mean, it's now it's legal. At the very least, it's not stolen, so we can sell that food. It's not a whole lot, but for the purpose of at least getting us some starter cash, it works. Plenty. Got to be plenty more in here. Extra magicka. I might as well take it. I can't sell it, but if I get to use it at any point, it could be useful. Ah, leather strips. Always good to find some leather. Couple more gold. I have enough to get a fishing rod. But I don't want my I don't want my heart to be broken and go out to the docks and have there be no ability to fish. 
That would be heartbreaking. Still the bread? Why does everyone want the bread? No. I'm gonna be a chef. More gold. Is it possible in Skyrim to flip? I always feel like the raw materials are worth more than the results you get from the raw materials. Unless you're able to enchant those items. Some more gold. Boots, nothing here. All right, might as well keep it moving. No soul gems or anything. Now a filled soul gem would be fantastic. And that's probably what I should save some of the stuff I'm able to craft. If I'm able to uh, hoard the town's bread, all right, fine. I'm going back in and taking her damn bread. The bread will be mine. I would take all of her cheese, but Doug Doug already did a video like that, so I can't. Ooh, another salt pile. Okay, so if there's something else I can cook. Can I cook dog meat? Oh, am I really gonna cook dog? Yum. How much does dog sell for? Anybody in town looking for dog? Is dog in demand? It's not even on here. It's not on the list. <laughs> it's banned. It's the one banned food item. Of all the nasty things people do to each other in the Elder Scrolls universe, no one's eaten dog. But they'll chop it up. That's strange. They're domesticated. Wait a minute. Maybe I can make some vegetable soup. What are the ingredients I need? Vegetable soup. Cabbage, potato, leek, tomato. It's actually got a nice ring to it. Cabbage, potato, leek, tomato. Cabbage, potato... Tomato, come on. Nothing. God, where the hell are her tomatoes? She's got to have tomatoes in here somewhere. Couple more salt piles. Leek? I swear, I saw she had leek. Ah, uh, there's grilled leeks. Okay, we need leek and tomato. <laughs> I love the physics. We'll take some potatoes. I don't think there's any more cabbage. It was just the one. But maybe it can sell for a lot. Possible. Also, I did not find the bread in here. I'm going to grab the bread. I'm grabbing the bread. Leave me alone. You know, if I get arrested, I'm going to have to take the bread out of the evidence chest. You guys are causing problems for me. But I'll take the bread. Screw it. I need some kind of dumb side objective. The bread god. We, we had the guard god, and now we'll have the bread god. Alright, let's turn in this quest. I hope he gives me like 100 gold. That would be very nice. Let me know if you see anything you like. Dude, we're, we're friends. I mean, at this point, I would consider us homies. Have you taken care of that little problem? Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> it makes it sound so much more sinister. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Oh, so Azura gets fortune. credit for it? Here, everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Everything you earned, 400, whoa. Hey, oh, I only wanted a hundred. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll look past you giving credit to Azura for that whole thing when I did all of it. You did nothing. I can train speech with him. Ooh, wait, hold on a second. All right, what do you have for sale? This junk. Me, I call them treasures. Let's start. I can sell the cooked food for one gold each. Okay, that is not going to cut it. <laughs> that is terrible. Horrible. I mean, that, that's not going to work at all. So he can train us in speech now. We've unlocked him as a speech trainer. I think we just have to go back to our old method of, uh... Good to see you. The yeah, old train and pickpocket. Right 
There we go. That gets us a ton of XP too. Speech slash pickpocket. I love this method. I don't think we'll be able to train it all the way up to 100, but we might as well just see how far we can get. That's such a strange build, though, in Skyrim, going pure, Have a look around. pure I speech and pickpocket right off the rip. Why you? Nope. Mm -hmm. You have to get into prime position before you quick save. You're not getting that easy. You little thief. Insult me all you want. I'm getting that money. Oh, no, you don't. You little thief. Okay, it's just the first few are, are difficult. You little thief. Why? You don't mind him. What do you think you're doing? All right, how many times are we going to do this? This reminds me in the glowing sea when we try to quick save, quick load, and get the idiot savant perk to activate. Got it. All right, level two. Thank you, Revan. My new favorite shopkeeper in town. I'm going to go with Magicka. I feel like being able to use magic later on is going to be worthwhile. First order of business, let's get a speech level. Trader dropped by recently. Well, you've come to the right place. Probably should have taken a uh, pickpocket perk, but still early. What do you think you're And doing? my my odds of stealing the money back have increased by 2% in total. Pickpocket. <laughs> I don't want to do this too much though. It'll get boring. Why? But for my first few initial levels, definitely going to be worth it. Think you can. Pickpocket. Thank you, Filthy. kind sir. Yeah, I wonder if when people watch my channel, they understand that this is what 90% of the content is. It's just repeating think? goofy exploits like this. 101, thank you so much for the prime. How was your Friday? Filthy. Does anybody have any exciting plans for this weekend? What do you think you're doing? Think you can steal. Think you can steal, and then I immediately just warp back in time. Think you can steal. He's gonna start waking up. He's gonna start realizing that he's reliving Groundhog Day over and over and over again. Eventually, he'll become sentient. That's the that's my one goal. My one goal with my Skyrim content is to get the NPCs to be sentient one day and realize that it's all just a game. Video games is always a good plan. Filthy pick. I don't know what it is. What how many what what kind of satellite does this guy have in his ass? Think you can He's the ultimate. <laughs> he has senses all over. Well, come on. Think you can steal. All right, this is getting ridiculous. This is getting out of control. Oh no. Oh no, you. Ho oh, oh. ho. I'm going to reload my save one time and his face is going to be 2 inches from the screen just like, "Huh? Thought you were going to pickpocket me?" Huh? You think you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people? What say you and your defense? I told you, he's getting smarter. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting scary. <laughs> he's getting way smarter. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Think you can steal. What is going on? How many times in this? How many times in a row? Why? You're not getting any. Is someone there? No, no one is there. <laughs> I had a strangest dream last night. Oh, finally. How many tries was that? 
All right, I got my money back at the very least. We're almost level three. Oh, you know what I want to find out? Do you have? Speak. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of Why that. is he so rude to me? I just saved his business and he looks at me, speak. What? Now, if you'll excuse me. You know, some tact would be nice. Noon is it how do you pronounce it? Is it Nissus? I've always pronounced it Nissus, or is it Nisis? I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. We already had this talk. Apparently, quit complaining and join me in the work. uprising. Not sure why I should care. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Salt piles cost six. It's kind of a lot, but we don't need salt piles. 11 for a tomato. 11? He doesn't even have leek. He has to wait, but he has two tomatoes right ideas. behind him. I gotta be able to get those tomatoes. No, 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 no. Go back to where you were. Stop, stop, stop looking at me. I promise I'm not doing anything wrong here. All is well. I am completely hidden. You see, this is how a master thief hides in plain sight. Now we just have to be really careful about it. Come on, he's distracted sleeping. Ah, it's so hard to balance it. Turn around. Come on, Cinderella. Turn. Face the wall. All right, you know what? I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way. There we go. <laughs> the old-fashioned way always works. Always the best way to go about it. Things have been a lot worse around here. Thank you for the tomato. Problem. Also, you're only selling one tomato. You clearly have two on the back shelf. All right, two tomatoes down. Does he have any leek? I want to make vegetable soup. I want to see how much money we can make making vegetable soup. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> More bread. Contraband located. No bread in my goddamn city. This is my city. No one takes bread from me. This is a nice place. A little downtrodden, but, you know, a bit of a project, fixer-upper. Overall, I like it, though. More salt piles. Some loose gold. I like how they haven't suspected me or followed me upstairs at all. Leather strips, always welcome. <gasps> More bread. Oh my god, these people are two-time bread Thank owners. Two-time bread offenders. More potatoes. More salt pile. Okay, we got a lot of salt piles. It hasn't really translated into making any sort of money for us, but possibly it will. Ben, how are you? Appreciate it. Thank you for the tier one. Get that bread. Yeah, no, we're getting that bread. Plenty of bread. But I feel like no, I feel like none of the food actually sells for a decent amount. There's no feasible way to kind of be a chef. So I'm going to go back. Let's go get the fishing rod. Let's do some fishing. Cook up some fish. Fishing's pretty easy anyway. And there's the off chance you find like an enchanted ring. Something like Take that. A good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you All my goods are Take a look. I love how it's categorized as a weapon. <laughs> it's my favorite part. My only weapon I've had so far. Fishing rod. I'm also, like, dreadfully underdressed for this weather. Not breaking the rules. Whoa, 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 whoa. Salt and vinegar chips are not bad. 
Salt and Vin? Those are awesome. Harvest. Whoa. Okay. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Get out of my face, Nord Trash. Oh. I. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Get out of my face. I got a business to run here. <laughs> Look at that idiot. <laughs> Look at that idiot kid. All of, okay, so all of these are legal to steal from. So we'll take the carrots. Maybe there's something we can cook with carrots. Free salt piles. Apples are useless, as far as I know. Which usually amounts to not a whole lot. Never taken this exit out of Windhelm. Gotta be a place to fish. I just know there has to be a place to fish here. Yep. All right, we got one. We can officially, oh, fish, Ali. Get it? We can fish. Yep. I've been fishing in these parts my whole life. Music time. Tell me we get a banger. Angler acquaintances. Okay, Arctic Grayling. I assume I can cook these and then sell them. But we'll have to see if they sell for more cooked or raw. Red Dead soundtrack. Arctic Grayling. Okay, is that all we're going to catch? I think that got Sims music. Which kind of works. I've seen that shirt, Stellar. Fish fear me, women want me. Or is it... I think I've seen... Women fear me, fish want me. Tankard... Am I already on the junk? Really? We ran out of stuff already? It's kind of lame. You can't even sell junk for one gold. Yeah, everything fears me. Yeah, I'm just making sure to get all the pollutants in our water. Arctic Grayling. We're three for three. I hope these things are worth like 50 gold each. That would make fishing worth it. All right, four for four. I mean, it looks like a valuable fish. Intense jams. Yeah, this is a little too chill. I need doom music or something. Five for five. The same exact thing five times. I gotta get something good. You know what I just realized, guys? We could do some dastardly sniping across the river if we get a bow at a certain point. There was a fox I saw. Tankard. All right, we're back to catching junk. We're here to teach you a lesson. No. Oh, my God. Why every video do we have to go through this? The guards won't do anything. All I have is my fucking fishing rod. All I have is my fishing rod. Wait. Hold on. I'm a dark elf. So I have Ancestor's Wrath. Lightning does eight points. I think fire would be a little bit more effective and it costs less. So hold on. We can get out of this fight. I'm going to win this fight easily. Yeah, Ancestor's Wrath is very good. One down. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Take all of his gear. Run away. 
Hi, how are you? Come back here. Throw all the gear on. You know, some armor will get me out of the fight. We'll throw on the shield and block them to death because we have Ancestor Guardian. <laughs> Burn! Only a matter of time. You walked yourself into this mess. Look at these dorks. They really thought. Oh, that was adorable of them. It's way easier to make money just killing hired thugs <laughs> than by fishing. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Keep my... Put that down? Okay, if you say so, officer. <laughs> I love how the bodies just ploop. Nice mohawk. Nice mutton chops. Bye, guys. It was nice to make your acquaintance on the dock. That's why you don't fuck with fishermen. No Especially fishermen that have a chip on their shoulder. I'm gonna have to get rid of this armor, though. I need the money. It'll be a good start, though. Check the card. What does the card say? Da -da -da -da. Oh, I must have gotten... Did I not take it? I guess not. It's just a contract that says they want to kill me. Who did I steal from? Buy some flowers? Pretty please? Oh. I'm sorry, what? kid. I can't do it. I am going to keep the shield. Let me know if you see anything Keeping the shield is going to be a decent idea because I can level up block if I get into any fights. And Ancestor Guardian is such a good ability that if I do ever get jumped or get into a fight, throwing it on and just going turtle method. See you. Finally, if you watched uh, take a look. Uh, the one video I did where we couldn't leave the road. That, uh, that was one of my combat strategies I suggested. Almost up to a thousand gold. Very good start. Tankard tongs, can't sell those for anything at all. I just got rid of all my clothes, so I'm back. I'm back to being naked, sadly. Can I buy my clothes back, Revan? Fine clothes. Way too expensive. Yeah, I'll take my shitty robes and boots back. Thank you very much. Now what I could do is... I could buy a ring. Because stamina, I think, can be applied to a lot of different things. And... I could disenchant it, but 700? That's a lot. 700 is a ton. Unless he's got the... Unless his merchant chest is accessible, I doubt it is. Cloth sack at the very least. You're making me unseasonably warm. Are you hitting on me? I don't know, uh, bees. I have no clue why it held that message. Would I ever do a video on how I'm meant to play Skyrim according to the official Skyrim guide? I think there's a video that already exists like that, or it's like beating beating Skyrim the way Bethesda intended. I've never seen the video though, so it could be something similar to that. All right, more potatoes, more carrots. Let's just take all the salt piles and food that we have and just see how much we can make from cooking it. I bet it's not worth it at all. It's gonna be incredibly underwhelming. I'm sure there's a mod that rebalances how much food costs because it's so expensive to buy, but it's really cheap when you sell it. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Any bread in here? Do we have any bread sympathizers? Huh? Nothing behind the counter. Looks like you're okay. No bread spotted. Good, good, good. This place is up to code so far. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosity. I promise you'll see. I still need a leak. Raw beef, we can cook that. <gasps> How dare you? Don't even think about it. 
I wasn't. I was now thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking about. Not thinking about anything. I'm not. I'm, I didn't do nothing. Uh, get out. Get off. I need to use it. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? All right. You are officially off the kill list. Susanna? Yeah, thank you. Please get off. Is that more bread right next to me? You didn't hear it from me, but if you want a real drink, try the corner club. Okay, so cabbage corn. soup worth five. It looks like cooked graylings are worth the most. Cabbage soup. That's just cabbage and salt. Which of these? Okay, cooked angelfish is worth 40. So if I'm able to catch angelfish, angler, those are worth a lot. Cooked liar tail, antheus, 40. A lot, a lot of the fish that we can cook is worth a decent amount. Everything else, almost nothing. They're all at best like a, a five. I'll make a ton of tomato soup though, or potato. Bastards. Holding out more bread on me. What do you want, milk drinker? Why do you have to insult me? Again, I thought you were on my side. Unless you're using that as a colloquialism, you're actually a nice guy. Did you know that candle on the mantle hasn't gone out in over a hundred years? Let's see what we can sell this for. Another Take a look. Alright, all that food we cooked. We cooked like 11 things of food. Well, that's buy. All of this we just cooked. Carrots we can't sell for anything. Cabbage soup sells for two. Cooked fish, three each, so we make 15. Cooked beef, two. And that's about it. That's about that. Not a whole lot. Enjoy your stay. And don't break nothing. Can you make bread? I'm the cook of it. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. That's right. I forgot you could do that. When fishing. Right, that's the problem. Salt piles cost six. So unless I'm cooking something like one of those fish that's worth 40, I'm not going to make my money back just on the salt. So right now I want to go fishing until I, I want to try and find an enchanted ring. Because I know that there's some rings when you fish. And I know for a fact if you keep fishing in the same spot you can find some decent items. Plus if, you know, hopefully I get attacked by more random thugs. Never hurts to just harvest salmon either. Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. It's always funny the things that are considered legal to steal from and not. There's always things worth it, there's always things not worth it. Cast a line. We got Payday 2 music. It's always the Arctic Grayling. There's got to be something else out here. Yeah, if you have a Special Edition Astronaut and you've updated it, at least through Steam or whatever console you're on, then it will have fishing in the game. All right, we got it. We got we got something else. Finally, juvenile mud crab. Morrowind is really weird with that. From Texas, it's it's uh in in Morrowind, if you have like a decent luck like if you start with decent luck you can just go to Balmora and if you're good at alchemy if you're good at speechcraft alchemy you have a decent amount of luck 
you just go to Balmora, raid through all of the baskets and barrels all around town, and you'll be able to start off with thousands and a lot of levels to alchemy. Oh, I think it I think it's uh depending on the time of day when I'm fishing. Right, you make your potions and then you sell them to the scamp. That's really my biggest if I'm playing vanilla Morrowind, that's one of my bigger complaints with the game is that it's so tempting to break the game and it's so easy to break the game. No, pool, the scamp is in uh, Caldera. I always thought it was so funny when Warzone came out with a new map and it was called Caldera. Immediately thought of Morrowind. Anybody that's played Morrowind and also knew that they were adding that map to uh, Modern Warfare thought of it. Blake, have a good night. Have a good Friday. My favorite Dunmer house? I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know the difference between any of them. I don't know. I don't know much about the uh, Morrowind lore. Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, do you see that? What is that? What is that fish doing? What? That is illegal. Those are illegal fish maneuvers. Reprimand that salmon now. What, <laughs> what the hell was that? I knew coming out here to fish would be worth it. All right, see, we're changing up. We're changing up the time of day that we're fishing. The fish are starting to be different. I'm just going to drop all of my fish and bread in the middle of town. It'll be like uh, that one story from the Bible. You know what? Actually, somebody said, what's my favorite Dunmer house in Morrowind? I'm going to go with Halalu because their armor is the most iconic. I don't know anything else about the houses, though, in that game. Don't you only have a limited amount of time to do the murder quest? Is that how that works? We're going to eventually find something. I, mean, I feel like we've made a fair amount of change so far. Another mud crab. Nothing good yet. I haven't gotten any weapons. Maybe I just have to keep fishing through all the junk. Once I start getting junk, I'm going to just keep fishing and see if we get anything. <laughs> Fish fear me. Merchants want me. Hello, Quantum's wife. This is relaxing. I do. I don't mind fishing when I do these videos because it's a good opportunity for me to be able to see all the messages in chat. Chat, everyone say hi to Quantum's wife. Now, do it now. Hide boots. Okay, we got some armor. Now, if you think about it, Catching a pair of boots, significantly better than catching fish. We can sell boots for more than we can sell fish for, which is really stupid, really dumb that fishing is more profitable if you don't catch fish. Oh, I pressed the wrong key. Hello, new spate. Also, I just saw someone said that they were just watching the destroying Skyrim uh, or the, you know, today's upload. Thank you for watching.
steel. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Screw all these fish. I want to catch weapons of war. Son, we're going out fishing this weekend. All right, Pa. Are we going for pike? Salmon? Walleye? Nah. I want to catch me a steel war axe. Maybe some tongs if we're lucky. <laughs> Those were actually the two main fish whenever we would go on vacation when I was a kid. We would go to Minnesota. Uh, there's a billion lakes in Minnesota. And we would always fish for northern pike and walleye. And there was a guy in town who you could hire. He was called the Walleye Hunter. That was his name. Staria, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, this, this guy, he was called the Walleye Hunter. Kind of a mysterious dude. Um, honestly, no clue where he advertised his stuff. I think it was just word of mouth. But he would, you know, take two or three people in a rickety ass boat, not like a not a not a comfortable boat, not a speed boat, not a pontoon. I'm talking the rickety ass tin can that runs on like a, you know, 0.5 horsepower engine, right? And he was a two-pack-a-day smoker, probably. And, uh, you know, he'd take you out on his boat five in the morning, probably. He would just get you up early. But, right, you would pay him to essentially take you fishing, and then everything you caught, you got to keep. So that's really what you paid for was, A, the experience. B, he takes you to all the best spots on the lake. Hide boots. That's more cash. Put it in the bank. Takes you to all the best spots, knows all the strategies, all the right bait, lures, everything. Just has you locked in. And this guy knew. It, it was crazy. You know, he would, he would take two people out with him. They would go fishing all day. And they would come back with, you know, 20 to 25 walleye. All, I mean, it, it was astronomic how, many, how much this guy was able to catch fish. It is terrifying. If you've ever been on a big lake... Like a, a, a big lake, you know, to where if you go far, far enough out into the lake, you won't be able to see either side. You'll just kind of be surrounded by water. And he, yeah, right. That was kind of my emphasis on his rickety ass little boat. I never actually went on it. I'm only imagining <laughs> because I have been out on a big lake like that, but in a much more comfortable boat. Can you consider the ocean a big lake? Uh, it's a bit... I assume the water is a bit choppier out in the ocean. Maybe it's not. But I assume it's a bit scarier. Steel sword. Money. Our business is profitable. No more fish. We are done catching fish. I only want to catch weapons. Punpits, thank you so much for the tier one. Excalibur. That's definitely a point that I need to make in my video when I cover Windhelm. Is I need to uh I need to joke about how it's hilarious that fishing is more profitable when you stop catching fish. Iron Mace! Money money. Money money. Do the fishing weapons scale with level? I don't think so. This is kind of relaxing. I do enjoy this. Hopefully we can get a good song to match the mood. Don't think this is it. A little too upbeat. Oh, wait, I used this in the last video. 
So a funny trick that I do in a lot of my videos is I find a beat that I enjoy in a song like this, the little piano parts, and I'll loop it over and over because some parts of songs don't work well as background audio. And you'll notice with this song, if you watch today's video, that pretty soon here, it'll go into a different phase of the song that I never used. Ah, our first Dagoth wave. This will surely make fishing significantly more exciting. <laughs> Now I'm locked in. Now we're going to catch some good stuff. We got the song rolling. We're going to get that enchanted ring. Come on, baby. Enchanted ring. We're due. We're due. It's going to happen. Fuck it. Even better. How many times you caught a bucket while fishing? This is actual gameplay right here. You've never experienced Skyrim. Hide boots! You've never experienced Skyrim. Elder Scrolls. Gaming. Until you have apexed and caught every available item fishing in Skyrim. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Welcome, Moon and Star. Come, to Come on. Fire and war. Oh, Come on, Dagoth. You're Dagoth. Please bless this next catch with something incredibly valuable. Dagoth has blessed us with an iron helmet. <laughs> Thank you. Daddy Dagoth, I command thee. Send your presence among us. And bless this bountiful catch. Lantern. Okay, maybe it's a sign. He is lighting the way to our next expensive catch. I don't know. I'm bullshitting my way through this. Whoa, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got one. We finally got one. Hide helmet of minor conjuring. <clears throat> got something. Unfortunately, Dagoth Wave is playing over my recording. So that'll be hard to edit. That's huge. I'm so pumped. Come on. Let's do it again. Why edit it? Now that is a good point, but it does kind of kill the flow of a video. More hide boots. Also, Punpits, thank you for the tier one. Gifted to Fedora. I'm going to need to put some more songs on the uh, redemption list. Although to be completely honest, I I, I think I need to, sh I think I'm going to shorten the length that the song plays for. Doing the whole song is a lot. Texican Tony, thank you so much. Claude, thank you so much for watching the channel as well. Five gifted. Very much appreciated, Texas. Taxi Tony. Ten hours of Dagoth Wave. Ancient Nord Warhammer. Very nice. I think we've made a good amount of cash. How much do you have it playing for ten minutes? Black Ops with five tier one. Thank you so much, Black Ops. I gotta stop saying thank you so much. I, my brain is programmed right now to just always say thank you so much whenever somebody gives subs. And... I feel so corny because I say the same thing every time, but I really, I genuinely do appreciate it, guys. Thank you. 
you make it uh, significantly easier to keep doing this. I'll tell you that much. It's uh, it's seriously a huge help. All the all the support that you guys share. Also, don't hate me. But today was the first video on the channel in a while that I used a mid-roll ad. I, um... Obviously, you guys know that my goal is to... Fuck you. <laughs> uh, obviously, you guys know that my goal... I was laughing at a message that Automod picked up. You can allow it, though. Um, my goal, obviously, is to make this uh, my full-time job, and... Yeah, I realized that uh, I was missing out on a lot of, uh, you know, we'll call it channel funding by never using med rolls. I won't use them all the time. I won't use them all the time, uh, but just throwing one at a decent breaking point in a 20 minute video in the middle, I thought was fair. If people start to complain about it, maybe we'll revisit it. Now, what I noticed, and you know what? I actually was pissed off about this. Okay, so on the um, on the VOD channel, somebody complained about it, so I looked into it, and I didn't even know you could do this. I had no clue that you could customize mid-roll ads. So I could put them every 30 seconds if I wanted to in a video just to basically force people to get YouTube premium if they wanted to watch the channel, which would be really dumb. That'd be a really bad idea. But uh, thank you, Hysteria. Thank you, Astronaut. Thank you, Blops. Thank you again so much. Was that 10? Thank you. Um, but uh, on, so on my VOD channel, somebody, somebody complained about it, so I was able to look into it, and I just noticed, this is how I learned, you can actually manage how many mid-roll ads there are individually and all that. And... It, Boom, we got another enchanted weapon. Let's go, I'm, this is actually awesome. I'm getting into this. Sorry, I'm, I'm cutting myself off. But on the VOD channel, YouTube was automatically placing an ad every four minutes on the VODs, which was crazy. I was like, what the fuck? Four minutes is asinine on a four hour VOD every four minutes. That's 15 ads an hour. That's 60 ads. It was wild. I was like, that's more than TV. That's a, well, I guess it's one commercial each time. Well, for me, it's, for me, it's about finding a good balance that other people are comfortable with and, you know, just works well. If I did a sponsored video, I wouldn't throw, you know, five mid-rolls in the middle of it because there's already 60 seconds I'm giving up to an ad, uh, which I do think, I do think the Glowing Sea Part 3 will be a sponsored video. Fun, fun fact. One double ad per minute. Yeah, one unskippable one minute ad per minute. Black Ops, thank you. Five gifted again. You were amazing. You all are too kind to me. I think project, I want to at least get the next Glowing Sea video done before we do more Glowing Sea streams because I want to have a uh, kind of, I want to kind of have it set up. Morabai, you're not wrong. I, I remember watching, I mean, to get through a simple episode of SpongeBob when I was a kid, you had, you know, 22 minutes of SpongeBob and about eight and a half minutes of ads, which is wild. Black Ops, thank you again. Watching while asleep, appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. Spongebob. <laughs> if it's Raid Shadow Legends, I'm unsubscribing. It's not Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I've I've turned down Raid Shadow. Or actually, I just don't even really respond to Raid Shadow Legends. But I have got quite a few of those. 
still listen to FM radio. FM radio is so many ads. Thank you, kind sir. Aspecta, thank you so much. Steel Mace. I feel like we're getting better and better stuff as we continue. A big manscaped sign for the glowing sea. That's a really good idea, Fedora. Because I I, I, I made sure with the people that I'm doing the, uh, you know, thing for that I have, other than the obvious points that I'll have to hit in the ad, I want full creative freedom and I want the advertisement to be in universe. So it's being delivered by Nora, right? So it's Nora's ad. And I'm pretty, I think it is NordVPN. Don't quote me on that. It might be the other VPN. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember at this point which VPN it was. But I also think that a VPN kind of fits the region locked. They're watching the stream. I think it fits the region locked kind of aspect. There's a lot of ways it can be written in. So I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. I'm also terrified. These bits are brawn to you by NordVPN. Pawn pits, thank you so much. I, there it goes again. I keep saying the same damn thing each time. I'm I'm robotic at this point. I'm programmed. Thank you so much. I gotta figure out my shit. Very much appreciated. A thousand Thank biddies. You, kind sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Den Stagmer's ring. We got the ring. We finally got a ring. Resistance against fire, frost, and shock is improved by 20%. It is worth 1,254. Oh my god. You are welcome so much. Black Ops, thank you so much as well. God, oh my god, I gotta... I need to have a command. I, I, I was watching Jabbo stream, or I always watch Jabbo streams, but he has a command where people uh, press the command every time he says true, and it just keeps a running count. I'm gonna need that for TYSM. Tommaso, thank you for the tier one. Not so much. <laughs> Not so much, thank you. Just just a regular old thank you. All right, we got our enchanted ring. Let's let's take our haul. You know what I want to do? There's nothing like going on a fishing trip and coming back and collecting your haul. I caught eight fish. Look at this. This was from the fishing trip. <laughs> Just a stupid amount of equipment. I didn't even include the junk. Hold on. How many trolls died in this river? How many, dr <laughs> How many drunk idiots live in this town? They just keep dropping their valuables into the river and forgetting about it. All of this, all of this captured with just a stupid little fishing pole. Hey, 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 away from the valuables. Watch yourself, guard. I'm watching you. Don't take my crap. It's worth too much. Cup of Joe. Thank you for the tier one. Again, not so much. The end goal, Attila, is to, um... I'm not sure. You know, the end goal of all the region locked videos is to... I'm gonna be honest, the end goal usually isn't really totally decided until I start scripting the video. Be straight up with you. Yeah, are all other fishermen in Skyrim as loaded as I'm about to be? 
what I'm going to do before this, though, is once again, we're going to go back in and we're going to quick save, quick load to break this guy's brain. I trust you aren't considering any thievery. No, 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 never. I want learnery. You. Fine. Well, you Not thievery. I want educationery. Yeah, right. More like quick savory. First try. First try! <laughs> Not sure why I'm taking magic again, but I am. Can we go back to speech? No, I need to level up speech before I can use the perk. 15%. We're gonna need that money if we want to start our weapons business, right? We have to build all of our weapons and, and get good at smithing, enchanting, and all that. I buy and sell. So we need as much money as we can get. Legal money. We need legal cash. There's no thieves guild. We can't launder goods. About anything. So we'll we'll actually redo that. Uh, maybe I should take. Probably should take a pickpocket perk. Yeah, I'll take the pickpocket perk for now, just so the next few levels are easier. Oh well, you've come to the right place. 54% now. What do, you think you're doing? what do I think I'm doing? I think I'm quick saving, quick loading. And touching your butt again. Damn it, he's getting smarter each time. Do come again. Just let me let me just pat your butt cheek. Just a nice little Thank you, kind sir. What say do come again? Uh Ratsigal, it's on hold until season two. Solstheim Rage and Lock, it, it will be in season two of Without Leaving. Miss Mara, thank you so much for five whole months. Thank you, Mara. I have a 54% chance. Why have I failed four times in a row? Okay, I, I, I'm not going gambling anytime soon. God, why you gotta be so stubborn, Revan? Why do you have to be named after a like to share my good fortune with those who did uh, well, Knights of the Old Republic place. character? This is out of control. Well, <laughs> it's so easy to level up. This is one of the dumbest exploits, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the more fun exploits. Now we can upgrade 10% better prices with the opposite sex. So I right, can sell any type of item. Doesn't really matter for that. Bribe guards to ignore crimes. That's a really good way to level up speech. Buying and selling prices. I have to get it to 40 to upgrade that again. Dang. It's actually rough. You have heavily inspired me to start my own YouTube channel, but I don't know how to start. I bought the camera and mic, but I'm too chicken to start recording. Any advice? Uh, totally. Also, that's awesome. Definitely get into it. Uh, it's you know, I think start writing. It it, it really the the hardest part is figuring out what you want to do. You know. Well, you've come to the right place. That's always that's always the most difficult part of doing content is like Thank you, I didn't know sir. that I wanted to play Skyrim and Fallout region locked. Pick I had no clue that's what I wanted to do. I just was creating videos on the Elder Scrolls cuz it's, you know, those are the games I grew up with and they're the games I've always had yes, consistently yes, the most I fun with. Well, you've come to the right place. And I knew I didn't have to try and fake my enjoyment of them. I just always genuinely enjoyed them. It made it a lot easier. But I would say, if you are going to get into it, start you yesterday. And, yeah, just start writing. Start, start writing down ideas or things that you think. Questions. Black Ops, this TTS is for you less than three. My profile pic looks like typical gamer. I it looks like a typical gamer, or somebody named typical gamer. Because, <laughs> if I'm honest with you, the story behind that logo is it's it's a Fiverr logo, and that's the, uh, what's it called? The Fiverr logo is, um. 
Like that's a total like standard gamer shit logo. I think I spent like five bucks on it. And then I just pasted oh, my face yeah. over it. Somebody on my on my uh one one of my older mods long time ago, they just suggested throwing my face over the top of it. So I went with it. Also, Rubber Ducky, thank you for the prime. On getting mod, this one goes out to you. Can't do speech until level 40. That is ridiculous. Oh, I'll bump up sneak. Sneak could be useful. Haven't done any magic skills yet. I like to share my good. Well, you've come to the right place. Make it quick. Well, you've come to the right place. Still By the order off. of the yard. Stop right there. You're not you committed crimes again. Why is this guard so quick now? The guard is automatic at this point. What do you, you think committed you're doing? crimes against Duke? I'm leveling Magicka because in terms of fun factor towards the end of this i always find that magicka is usually pretty fun Thank you have committed crimes again. Yes. Well, you come to the right place speak well you've come to the right place And this one goes out to my lover bees rights activist who definitely doesn't have any other lovers. He needs to spam F5. <laughs> hey, you know what? It is a mechanic in the game. I'm not cheating. I'm just using in-game mechanics to my advantage. Does... As speech increases, does it passively increase your buying and selling prices? Or does it only increase when you buy perks? Trader dropped by recently with some lovely pieces. It is a pain to increase it. Look. Make it well, you've come to the right place. And hey, I wouldn't call it spam. Never I, should come. I would call it Calculated progress stoppage. What do you you think get the fuck, again? get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. It, it's it's passively active progress appreciation. Yes, need something. Well, you've come to the right place. Turn around, Revan. I like how the majority of the stream has been this and fishing. And that's about it. Hmm. That's not what's... Well, hey, no, 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 no. If it was spam, I would just be repeatedly doing it, you know, constantly. I'm doing it once every 30 seconds. That's not... That's not spam spam. Oh. Well, you've come to the right place. All right, it's spam. It's spam. Make it quick. All right, what, wait, what is, what is my speech at? 32? Okay, I'm done. I will stop at 32. Got a good amount of magicka. Although I want that next perk. I can get bribery. And barter stolen goods with any merchant. You have to get to 90. Good God. All right, we'll save the perks until I know what to do with them. 
yes, yes. Time to I find out. Now we can find out how much money. Actually, wait. Stay right there. Don't move. Thank you. Now we're done. Okay, we're done. I like to share <laughs> That's it. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Now we can find out how much we made from our fishing adventures, all right? We are at 1042. I'm only going to be selling the things that I found on the first fishing trip. I'm not going to be selling the enchanted items, though. I'm going to disenchant those. So weapons. 1042, that's how much gold I had. Probably should keep one of those and make it my weapon, but I'm electing against that. Okay, the boots were not worth nearly as much as I thought. We've made almost 100. Fantastic. Cod, worth 6. So I made about 240 gold. Mm -hmm. That is not even close to what I thought I was going to be making. No, I'm keeping all my junk. I want to keep every single piece of crap that I get out of the water. I want to store it somewhere. But I feel like if I put it in one of these buckets, it's going to disappear. Because I want to just drop it somewhere and have a massive mess. Does the Lakeview Manor count? Where's that? I'm going to try and disenchant the ring if I can. Palace of the Kings. I don't know. Do I want to go talk to Ulfric? I don't know if I want to go talk to Ulfric right now. There's got to be a disenchanting throne. <laughs> throne. Uh, disenchantment table. Right? Barracks. Another kitchen. Any bread? Oh, dead bread? You guys murdered this piece of bread. It's damn near worthless now. How dare they? More bread? Bastards. Hiding all of your bread from us? I'm gonna There's disenchant the rain. Judolf the Grey. Palace of Kings upstairs? <laughs> Two military commanders discussing secret battle plans and just a random schmuck walks in here with the fishing rod. Don't mind me. I am looking for the nearest enchanting table. Hmm. Anything in here? Uh, oh, 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 God. Am I in trouble? No lollygagging. <sighs> Thank God I'm only breaking and entering, not lollygagging. This whole experiment would be over if I ever got caught lollygagging. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damned shopkeepers. Yeah, word's getting around. That's what I'm talking about. Might as well pick this lock for the XP. Shit, okay, one lock. I can do it. Adept lock? Not too bad. Like I said, I am the best, by far, the absolute best Elder Scrolls lockpicker on planet Earth. Also, that necklace we just stole, that's worth a shit ton, so I need to enchant that ASAP. We gotta find the enchanting table. Upstairs part to the left of the main entrance. God, thank you. You are a beautiful soul, whoever just told me. Now that we'll have at least one enchantment, I think the st the stamina enchantment that I have should wait. Do I have a stamina enchantment? What 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 enchantments do I have? Cold damage. That won't work on a necklace. Conjuration. Will that work on a necklace? I don't think it will. This way. There's a table at the market. I do the cooking and. Dork. Get out of my face. I got more important things to do. I, okay. Not interested. He seemed so excited, though, to tell me about his job. I do the cooking and cleaning. Isn't that fun? No, it's not. 
I just caught 48 pounds of military armaments out of the sea. I cannot disenchant the ring. But we're going to disenchant these two. We can. Okay, fortify conjuration. Now all I need is a soul gem. Are these filled? I don't think they're filled. Oh, uh. Did you not see that? <laughs> did he not see that? He must have cataracts. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. If Ulfric needs. <laughs> so he can train I destruction. Figured for a mage. He's got filled I soul gems. Let's take a look. What, what spells does he have? I'm going to need soul trap. Okay, he has soul trap for 250. What microphone is this? It's the Elgato Wave 1. It's fair. It's it's not too expensive. It's like I think 150. It's a great mic though. Must have been the wind. Does it can you soul trap your own conjured creatures? Also, Ad Noctum, thank you for explaining what we're doing. Yes, no, no, yes and You guys are really giving me mixed signals here. It would raise your skill to cast Soul Trap on them, but you can't trap their soul. I mean, oh, no, Soul Trap is on touch. Am I going to need a soul trap enchantment? Disenchant the soul trap enchanted item? Re-enchant a soul trap bow? And then stand on the docks and wait for a fox or something? Is that the play I'm going to have to make? I don't want to waste the money on soul trap if I don't know I can fight something. And steel are well and good, but magic. Kamarko, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Uh, I hope you were able to finish uh, the, um, what's it called? I saw you were streaming we got the nickname for Nuka World. Soul trap a mud crab. No, you can't soul trap a fish. There is one, uh, there is a cemetery. Enchant the fishing rod. Yes, enchant the fishing rod with soul trap. Everything. Uh oh. Hold it there. Keep your distance. What's going on here? No, no, no. I need to get into that crypt. I need to make sure there's no skellies. What happened to her butt? Is that what's been happening to the person I've been pickpocketing this whole time? Another girl killed. This is Susanna from Candleheart Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. But I can't say I knew her. Another? So wait, hold on. The Nords are getting killed off in town? No Dark Elves have been killed? This is awesome. I don't even have to do all the work. Someone's doing it for me. How'd she die? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed and then cut apart. It's like an animal got to her. But these are the wounds of a blade. I mean, it looks like she's in one piece. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. Yeah, sounds like you idiots aren't doing your job. Look, there's a war going on, if you hadn't heard. We barely have enough soldiers to walk the streets, much less patrol every corner. Wouldn't it be in your interest to investigate what's killing people inside your home base? You are in the middle of a war, but you're dying from within, right at home. That's trouble. Tricky, I'll, I'll, I'll play your song in a little bit. If you want to help, Ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. I wish I had a... Can I, is there a cannibal perk? Can I just start... What is it? Oh, damn! Ooh, that's rough. Hey, she has eight gold. And a dagger. Silver necklace. Some cooked pogfish. 
Nice little meal and some booze. All right, <laughs> which is, I am collecting evidence. It's part of the investigation. It's part of the investigation, okay? Yeah. Let me real quick, we'll just, uh, you know. Mm, mm. Oh, that's some good booze. You see anything? Always sad when someone has uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. Mm, I noticed that as well. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. I noticed there was uh, also booze on her body as well, so whoever killed her wasn't, uh, you know, looking to party. Always sad when someone has to die. Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Him? Oh, so you're sure that it was a man? Well. Another one. Terrible. You have the squarest head I think I've ever seen. Is that Steve from Minecraft? He's undercover. Train me to be a better pickpocket. Did you see what happened here? Why are you, why, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. If people are paying you to learn how to pickpocket, where, how are you on the streets? Unless all of her students are like me, they learn how to pickpocket from her and then they just steal the money back. I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. You guys are useless. You didn't add anything to the conversation at all. <laughs> you didn't help me one bit. Well, I'm ready to report. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Yeah, take that up with Ulfric. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. The bastards escaped again. I ask only for a little charity. She's still back there screaming. Hey! hey shut! Sh cool, quiet down. Hush up. We're in the middle of the adults are talking. Yerim is a fi Just like always, nobody... Look, friend, if you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You'll need to talk to your life, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be an official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Okay, so we need to talk to your... Jorleaf. Jorleaf. All right, let's go find this person. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to find out that it's my dumbass who's on the case. <laughs> We've assigned you our... <laughs> Hold on, I have to I want to get the camera angle right. <laughs> We've assigned you our top operative on this mission. People say that... He's caught over 500 pounds worth of equipment, buckets, bottles, and trash out of the river. Do you know what this man has done to lower the pollution rating in this town? Our carbon footprint has dropped 50% since he's arrived. This guy's an animal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Rift and Fishery. I'm tracking the wrong quest. Whew. Whew. That made me nervous. All right, he's in the palace. That made me... I was really, really nervous. I'd have to leave town to talk to him. Run in, run in, and run in, run in, and... All right, Jorleaf, what do you got for me? The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. <sighs> I don't care about your politics. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. A weird flex. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. You know what? Maybe, maybe we don't need to lead. If you have any news of the Western Holds, take it to Ulfric immediately. Maybe we don't need to lead a Dunmer uprising in this town, right? Maybe we just have to be like Kendall Jenner with the Pepsi can in that one commercial and bring everyone together, right? 
I just need a can of Pepsi. I'm gonna have to download a Pepsi can mod. What am I supposed to talk to him again about? I'm waiting. Grew up, lot of history in these walls. For Ulf, he seems. I don't really have a mind for war, and I think. Examine the crime scene. Get assistance from your leaf. Wait, what did he even say to me? What did I miss there? Oh, he may have advice from time to time. Stay away from the Aretino residence. All right, I'm playing your song. Somebody did redeem a song. We already had that one earlier. How how do I get repeats? I have like 300 songs downloaded. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. This song is a good example. I was mentioning it earlier how in my videos I like to loop songs over. This song's a good example of doing that. Empty, empty. Both the soul gems I have are empty. But you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to check out that crypt. That man, you are handsome. Or beautiful. Whichever you prefer. There's got to be something in here. What's in this crevice? There it is, everybody. The Nordic Kvasi. I've heard about it. Only in legends. But finally, it has laid its eye upon us. There's gotta be something in here I can capture a soul. I didn't buy soul trap yet, I just need to make sure. Yeah, there's something down here for sure. There's a priest. No enemies, no Draugr. The song is really long. Or it just feels long. Nothing, nothing, no way. The crypt is full of nothing. It's all nothing. You, kind sir. Ian, much appreciated. Oh, so there's uh, there's Susanna. She was, did, was, she, was her mouth just moving there for a second? Somebody go back. Don't worry. I saw. One of these two. One of these is the murderer. I'm calling it. They project their guilt onto the Dunmer. That's why they're such dickheads. It's one of them. Let's level up sneak a little bit here. You know what I should be doing is pickpocketing people for enchanted gear. Although I probably shouldn't be robbing people in the Dunmer. On the uh, what is it? Uh, Dark Order? Giordano? She's got to have something good. Gold necklace. 
kill a god. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. No, no, no. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. No recall or intervention can work in <laughs> I'm taking your arrows. There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Right, I figure, okay, he's wearing a nice outfit. He's got to have something good on him. No recall or intervention can work in Preferably an enchanted ring or something that I can disenchant. No recall or intervention can work in this place. There is no escape. Oh, I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Because I'm grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. I bet the I bet he has something. Everyone says you're a god. I'm a god, god. I'm a god, Raymond. I'm a god. I'm a god. Haven't even needed to use my quick saves. Nothing, nothing, nothing really. Now hold on, can I use the smelter? Okay, no, I need I need ore. In order to use the smelter, I actually have to have ore. That's a decent weapon you made there. It's a dagger. Relax. It's not e it's not even close to being cool. All right, let's go back to the crime scene. I should pickpocket Ulfric. I don't know why I haven't. All right, what do we got here? Out of my way. Why don't you let the real investigator take care of all this? Huh? Thank you, kind sir. Oh, no. Thank you for the tier one. I hope you are having a wonderful Friday. Hmm. It appears that there is blood on this tablet. I'll take your silence if you agree. Plants as well. Mm. All right, let's get experimental with it. Don't look at me like that, okay? I thought it was a good idea. You got any better ideas? Of course you don't. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. Oh, I'm I was supposed to talk to her. I was <laughs> supposed to talk to her. All right, then. I noticed a trail of blood leading away from here. Helgrid's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Say thank you one more time, Daddy. Only like you do. Fuck you. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want, chat? You don't want me to say thank you? Screw you. I'm going to start saying that every time anybody... You know what? I'm going to be just a dickhead. Whenever somebody subscribes from now on, I'm just going to say, piss off. Follow the blood. No, what? That's not going to help. Hysteria... Screw you. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> I can't do that. I feel bad. I already feel bad. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. Voltaruas. Um, you're a disappointment. Have you noticed anything strange about the body? Well, she's dead. <gasps> I guess that's not unusual. No. For somebody in here. I mean... Someone who's not me, that is. Sorry, was only joking with you. This isn't a joking matter, Helgrid. A woman lies dead on the table, a killer loose, and you joke? Buxel, uh, everything about you is terrible, and 
I hate you. Ah, <laughs> uh, this hurts. So, all right, all right, all right. The body. Oh, yes, right, of course. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. They look like they were made with... Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. The blacksmith! Other than me, of course. Bug, welcome! How are you, Bug? Happy to see you. We're investigating murder right now. Let me know if you find anything else. It's an embalming I tool. Will. It's now the blacksmith. Really got to get back to the body. It's the blacksmith. Hundred percent. I'm I'm putting all my stock on this right now. I'll gift ten subs to chat. It's the blacksmith. Dude, aren't you like an expert on Skyrim? How do you not know who it is right away? Shut up. Shut up. Shut. Shit. Don't even go there. Okay, let's follow this trail of blood. Goes up here. What the hell? Why? Okay, so, I mean, she died here. Why was there like an explosion of blood here? They used a sword, right? So did she get shot? It, it looks like they used a shotgun. Like, bam! She got blasted here. 12 gauge. Boom! Massive explosion right here. Can one person bleed this much in random spurts? Bam! Looks like it stops right here. Does it go up this way? stops right here why does the blood stop here what was the motive who was this woman you should unload some of that unwanted gear head over to Sadri's squares First off, I, I got all of this gear while fishing. Thank you very much. You can maybe do some research on me before you make comments. Also, we're investigating a murder. Kind of a weird topic change. Uh, okay, blood here. Does it go past here? No, no blood over here. I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. Again, strange thing to say. We're partners, are we not? You haven't done anything. You've just been standing there. <gasps> More blood. Uh-oh. Oh no. I might lose this bet. More blood here. I feel like this was the most obvious lead, yet none of us followed it. God, this is the worst group of guards ever. Another explosion. What happened? She lost like two liters of blood every ten feet. Bam. Explosion right here. Oh, here we go. Explosion on the staircase? Hear him. Master Lock. It's a cool looking house, but it is ominous. I mean, the front gate. The eagle face staring me down as I walk through its big arch. Are we really that dumb? It took us this long to just follow the easiest lead possible? Not a single witness that was down there said, Oh, actually, uh... There's like... An explosion of blood. It looks like somebody played a Halo mission and blasted a grunt with the sniper rifle against the wall like nine separate times, all in various locations, but leading in an ominous trail to that house up the hill. Okay, so we gotta get into the house. Easy enough. What do I have? One lockpick? I can do this. One lockpick. Master lock. This is what I, uh, you know, this is why I make the big bucks doing.
I'm the worst investigator ever. I'm never gonna make it out here. I tried to make myself cry there. I can't do it today. Ah, come on, come on, come on. No spoilers. Come on, guys. Sure, I can talk to a guard, but it's significantly more fun if I can just kind of go about my way. I'm doing this. Now I'm stubborn. I am getting through this. One lockpick. Master lock. I got this. This is how a real investigator solves the crime. <sighs> you think the characters in Criminal Minds, if they get a lockpick, they just get 50 of them to get through the locked door? No, you get one. I'm a time-traveling investigator, all right? I'm like Doctor Who. Never actually seen Doctor Who, but I assume that that's the plot. Fuck. This is really hard. Oh! Damn it, some of them fool you into thinking that it's actually Jimmy in a little bit. Nope. Toast. I basically get three guesses to find it. So we'll do three guesses each time. We'll go here. Here. Damn. Whew, I got this. I got this. Real pooch, congratulations on graduation. Always an amazing accomplishment. Damn. All right, this is the last try. This is it, and then I'm gonna have to go get more lockpicks. What's the click that I'm listening for? It all sounds the same. I thought I had it there. All right, I'm getting more lock picks. I'd go to prison for them if that'd be a bit easier. Do you sell lockpicks? Yeah. Working in Wendhelm is great. They probably will. Everyone says Yorland Greymane. Take a look. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, L, M, N, O, L... Damn. Don't forget, I never expected Ulfric to live up to his legend. She's got nothing. A word I trust oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. L, L, lockpick. You got four of them. Beautiful. Thank you for your 20 gold. Kind of cheesed me on that deal, but it'll pass. I'll make do. <clears throat> All right, get me into this damn house. I'm tired of screwing around. I am a real world famous investigator.
Look at that. All I needed was two. All I needed was two. Nice and easy. What is this house? Alright, this is eerie. This is very creepy. They really should have hired an interior decorator. You know, just because you're a psychopathic serial killer doesn't mean that you can't afford a vacuum or, you know, a duster. I don't know, get one of those handheld Swiffers? Knock some of the cobwebs out of here? This place is miserable. Don't they have house inspections or something in this city? I don't know, like a homeowner's association? Like, uh, there's every violation in the book. This place just says serial killer. It's all over. No way. Is, is it gonna be in the bloody chest that, that all the blood patterns lead to? Told you guys, I'm a world-famous investigator. From the marks on the floor, it looks like this box was pushed against the wall recently. Beware the butcher. Eleven of these? Butcher journal. Okay, alright, let's investigate. Beware the butcher. The killer who hunts the streets of Windhelm. These calamitous times bring out the worst in people. Don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Viola Giordano? The pizza lady? Would she be giving these out to throw people off the scent? Maybe she is the one who's whistling, who's, you know, whistleblowing because she wants to turn eyes away from her? Is it the pizza lady? No way! It can't be Totino. She would betray all of my assumptions about her. No spoilers. Chat, no spoilers. Mods, if someone spoils, mute. The plans are together, coming together swimmingly. I found good sources of bone, flesh, and blood. But thus far, a good sampling of sinew and marrow have escaped me. Well, isn't sinew intestines? Are they making hot dogs? Oh, maybe they're making hot dogs. No matter. The city is swollen with contemptuous fools who will be missed by nobody. But what if it is Pizza Lady? Last night, was almost able to corner Susanna as she left Candlehearth. Idiot God showed up at just the wrong moment, and I had to turn about, just out for a stroll and so forth. There will be other chances, but the time is drawing near. I think back to my time. I'm switching back and forth because I'm actually not sure who the killer is. So in my reading, I gotta go I gotta be gender fluid with it. I think back to my time in Winterhold. All the wasted minds up in their towers. They only explore the magic they already know. I am discovering new magic here. Something deeper than cantripped shenanigans of fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us. Perhaps older than the world itself. I am tugging at the corners of the fabric of the universe, and where it bunches and folds is where I shall create my greatest triumph! One more attempt at the Candlehearth girl. She's proving to be a bit too cautious, but those strong joints of hers should contain the most exquisite tendons. <laughs> what the F? Not really a gender-fluid voice acting job, but uh, I, I was going for the, uh, uh, the female uh, dark elf voice. I'm not very good at it. I can do jib. Oh, I should have done it as jib. Wait, hold on. We're going to have to reread the entire thing. Mm. Sinew. Intestine. Mm. Stand up. There you go. You were murdered. Your intestines are over on the table. Investigate pots and pans. This is actually how I stored my pots and pans when I was in college. <laughs> I just, just throw them on the floor. Wherever you got room. These haven't been used for ages. Nothing but skeever droppings and cobwebs inside. Oh, no, much like the rest of the place. It fits the theme. Tankard mead. Okay, they got booze. From the dust, these look left over from when the previous occupant moved out. Am I going to get jump scared? Okay, small shelf. The shelf is filled with more of these butcher flyers from around the city. One pile looks misshapen. Wardrobe. This perfectly good wardrobe was left behind for some reason. Hey, free clothes. Might be able to upgrade my look. Although I like this look that I got going so far. Nailed to the wall. Ah, there's... It's always the false back panel. Okay, we'll go in there in a little bit. I want to keep investigating. 
We can't find anything. God, this place, come on. Even the one seat you have in this place is thrown up against the wall. I can't even rest. And the chair, none of the furniture. It's all thrown about. Every single piece of furniture is unusable in this place. Chair is stacked on the bed in an odd fashion. Maybe so they could get up here? Maybe there's something I'm supposed to be seeing. Looks like there's nothing else really up here. All right. Whew. I'm armed. I'll whack ya. I'm the butcher of the sea. Never forget it. We're going in. Oh, that's just beautiful. Spine, chest, ribs. Oh God, they're attacking me. Oh no. The guts of the murdered. Anything important in this basket? Yeah, let's just dump it out on the floor. Might as well. Yeah, get, get <laughs> empty it all out. Just make sure I'm not missing any skulls. This altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts toward body parts, body parts towards some gruesome end. Okay, butcher journal number two. 17 tendons and assorted ligaments. 173 fragments of bone for assemblage. Approximately four bucket full of <laughs> bucketfuls of blood. Nord preferred. Oh, what is this? It's like some eugenics shit. Six spoons of marrow, no more than two from a thigh. Twelve yards of flesh before cutting, mind you, before cutting. Star scrying to the edge of the ice mind. Look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive when the rotted unites under most skillful hands. Translation from Aldmer text, as interpreted by the aliens and first transcribed by Aldmer. Providence and authority unknown. Soon. I should probably take this. It's pretty good evidence. Someone is about to walk in here. It sounds like somebody. <gasps> and they have bread. I knew it. You bastard. I knew this psycho was a bread enjoyer. How dare you. How dare you store gluten. Fantastic. It's against my law. So the first person I need to talk to is Pizza Lady. I hope it's not Totino's. Please. Don't tell me. DiGiorno? Where's DiGiorno? Fuck is she? Follow up on the clues? No, I don't want to follow up on the clues. Where is she? Where is she? I bet she's at the pub. If she's handing out pamphlets, she probably wants to hand them out there. A few septims for my supper is all I ask. Shut up, you teach a class. You're not broke, you're lying. Poor Nilsen has been wrecked since her sister was- Come on. Hollyfrost farm outside the city. Jora Stenbar. I bet I. Oh, is that her? I still can't believe. Ah, oh, well, well, well. She was such a. Don't mind me. Let me just have a seat right here. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. You're a liar. She's the butcher. I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. Yeah, I found all of your pamphlets in the killer's lair. And I guess this journal? Huh? What's it say? It sounds like the court mage has been experimenting. Woundforth. 
There have been rumors swirling about him for years. If it's the court mage, that's so lame. I'm going to be really but disappointed. He's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. No, 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 no. We cannot get rid of the court mage. We can't get rid of the court mage. That's how I buy my spells. She is my suspect. It's DiGiorno's. It's her. That was the dumbest joke that I included in today's upload. It's not delivery. It's Giordano. Doesn't really make sense at all. I should have just said DiGiorno. Is that really that? No, there's got to be a twist. There's There's got to be a twist here. If there's one thing Skyrim is known for, it's for its branching and unclear quest lines. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Psst. 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 Your leave. Your hands to yourself. The stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. That, well, that, you must have been having a really exciting dream. <laughs> I hate to awake you from your slumber, but you're losing the war. That's quite an accusation. I assume you have proof. We have evidence of necromancy and found his I amulet. I don't want to believe it. Wulfirth has been a trusted friend to Ulfric. When did I find years. his amulet? It pains me to see that the whispers had truth to them. Wulfirth shall be apprehended. I thank you for your diligence in getting to the bottom of this matter. Fantastic. The streets of Windhelm are now safe. What? That's it? That's how it ends. I don't even get to see him? No, 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 where are you going? You better be going to confront him, and there has to be some kind of resolution to this. Also, if it's the guy that can sell me Soul Trap and all kinds of other spells, I want nothing to do with this. I'm going back. Where's my save? I'm going back to the save so I can give myself a manual save, just in case this quest kills him off. All right, I'm giving myself a manual save. Let me go wake him up real quick. It's like the one Lemmy meme of Yarl Bulgriff. Stay. Hey. Don't even the storm clocks are fight. That's quite an accuracy. That's such a funny I thing to wake up. The storm clocks are capturing territory. The streets of Windhelm are now safe. I'm going to say that next time I wake up immediately from slumber. Like next time I stay at my parents' place, my mom wakes me up in the morning. <laughs> That's what I'm doing when I wake up. The storm clocks are carrying. Where are you going, Yorleaf? All right, let's go. Come on, let's speed this along. Oh, maybe I can buy from him in prison. It'd be cool if I had a connection in the hole. Maybe I can go into prison, break myself out, break him out. Let's see where this goes. You, you are coming with me. We're finally going to arrest the butcher. Yes, sir. You're saying this serial killer has been in town for how long? I mean, it's a small enough town where I think that the people could, I mean, lend some privacy and just say, you know what? Yeah, there's a serial killer in town. I'm terrified. Just check out my place just to get me off the list. Maybe you've seen masts sticking out of the water to the northeast. That would be the wreck of the winter war. I mostly deal with... Get out of the way. Get out of... Map update. What? Oh, no. This is him. Oh, God. This is terrifying. What is the meaning of this? You're under the arrest. For the murder of Susanna of Candlehart Hall and Frigga Shattershield and all the rest. We are wise to your scheming, you coward. <laughs> Has the whole city lost their brains? I've been scrying and auguring to find the murderer myself. Make your excuses from the bloodworks, wizard. Get him out of my sight. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to come with me. This isn't over, your leaf. That was an intense showdown. This guy is pissed. Uh, Woonfirth, before you leave, 
Oh, he's busy? Busy with what? You don't want to make some cash before you go to jail? Come on, sell me Soul Trap. Come on, I know you want to. Just sell me the book. Sell me the spell. I might need it. I might not, actually. I have no clue. So now where is he going? We're following him the whole way. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. I don't think you did it, Woundfirth. I believe him. Not just because he's my spell plug. Imperialists think we need their laws. He doesn't look strong enough to carry out a murder like that. <coughs> I've killed more fish than he's killed people. I don't think he did it. It's a really glitched quest. So you're saying if I follow him the whole way, it might break? Good thing I did give myself a manual bug. Or manual bug. <laughs> manual save. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's right, scumbag. Scum, freeze bag. You're lucky I didn't get a chance to whip out the fishing rod on you. Whoosh. What a walloped you. I like how I'm just allowed to walk in here. No one cares. Official storm cloak business. Yeah, these guys don't seem too bad. At least they let me walk around freely. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. proof oh 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 I thought he was calling himself an idiot for a second Kirito how are you thank you for stopping by appreciate it thank you for watching the channel is that it he's just gonna walk in this is how we treat psychotic serial killers damn that is a brutal this is not like the rift in jail where people would willingly just get in. This is so much worse. I've no problem with orc. Don't cross me, elf. Psst. Don't think you can bother with Whatever you've heard I can do is probably people. true. Are you talking about the mass murder or oh, he can only train me in destruction magic. I lost my plug. I can't get rid of him. Strength and steel are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. All right, Woundfirth. This guard's an idiot. I'm getting you out of here. Shit. <laughs> that was a waste. No, 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 no. You're not creeping up on anybody like that. Hey, douchebag, I just unlocked your cell, all right? And this guy doesn't even notice that I'm in here oh, with you. Rick needs a favor, he has it. Anyone else better pay well for the service. Again, he's the one that put you in here. So let's figure out a way to get out of here. I'd explain my research, but you'd just be confused. Why are you insulting me? I'm trying to free you. Mind what or who you practice this on. No, I don't want training. What do you have on you, old man? A ring, silver emerald necklace. I'll take your rings. <laughs> what is he going to do? Call the guards? Huh? Is that what you're going to do if I get caught? No point in leveling up. 
So. Yes, I'm a powerful wizard. No, I won't put on. I might have to do some research on this quest. I'll give myself one save point here. So I'll have I'll have several different places where I have a manual save. And then we'll go from there. I almost just double saved. Force of habit. Force of habit for sure. I'll have to look it up and see where it goes. No, I'll I'll, I'll look it up and I'll try to uh, just avoid it as best as I can. Um, but uh, first off, thank you everybody who came by. Uh, thank you so much for all the you know subs and support and all that. Really, really appreciate it. That was a, that was an awesome stream. That was really fun. It was fun to be back. Uh, we may be streaming tomorrow with a couple of others doing Skyrim multiplayer. Skyrim multiplayer just came out, uh, or it's Skyrim Together Reborn. It's a revamped and redone Skyrim multiplayer mod. So we'll have to see if that works out well. That's why I'm ending stream so I can download that, try to get that working and set up for tomorrow. But again, thank you to everybody. Uh, let's just, I mean, God, we can run down the whole list. Buxel, thank you. Voltarus. Oh yeah, that's when I was being rude to people who were subbing. I'm not actually an asshole. Thank you for the uh, gift subs. I'm not going to say so much. I'm going to hold. Ah. Thank you so much. Pun Pits, thank you for the bits. Pool, thank you for all the, all the gifted subs as well. Thank you guys. For real. Very much appreciate it. Ah, oh, Umbra. I'm sorry. And yes, it is Umbra, not Umbra. It is pronounced Umbra. I will die on that hill that it is Umbra, not Umbra. Let's send our stream. Let's find somebody who's streaming Skyrim right now. Let's see who's streaming it. Oh, we're not number one. We're number two in Skyrim. How dare we? Let's see who we can find. Da -da -da -da. Skyrim, no deaths, max difficulty survival. Permadeath. Ooh. Hold on. I'm going to click around a few of these streams. Oh, an ad. I got an ad, and it was very loud. Pete Davidson just screamed at me. Why was that a thing? Two ads? What is going on here? Too many ads. Too many. Or mage kind of. Back to the apartments, back to the apartments, dude. Back to the apartments. Fantastic. Oh, he does. He has a death count on here. Okay, so he's not doing... Back to the fucking or maybe apartments. he is doing permadeath and he's just keeping oh, track of his... Alright, yeah. I'm sending you over to Xerox. I'll put the link in here. So if you want to get over before the actual raid raid, you can get a head start. This is another underscore Andy. So I, I sympathize. I sympathize with my underscore Andes. Can we get 110? We got 109, 108. All right, guys, have a good night. I'll see you in the next upload. Hopefully we have one sooner rather than later. Part three of the Glowing Sea. Have a good one.